All right, today I got for you the best of both worlds. Pineapple upside down cake meets sticky buns come together in union, and we're gonna create this beautiful pineapple upside down sticky buns. So let's jump into this recipe and hook it up. So what you wanna do is you wanna get this milk about room temperature. You can use half and half, you can use cashew milk, go for it, all right? Transfer that into a bowl and then add your yeast into that bowl and give it a nice little stir. Sit that to the side for a few minutes. While that's sitting to the side, to our flour, we're gonna add our ground allspice and some salt. Then I'm gonna get a fork, because clearly I didn't bring it out for the recipe, and go ahead on and stir that up together. All right, just make sure everything is nice and evenly incorporated. Then we're gonna to add to our yeast mixture an egg and an egg yolk. Beat that together so they're nice and frothy, looking good together, all right? Now to, to our bowl, we're gonna do this in a stand mixer so we save our wrists some work. We're gonna add our flour, then we're gonna add some sugar. Then we're gonna put on our dough attachment hook and we're gonna mix this together for about one minute just to make sure everything is incorporated. If you wanna know how to make this without the stand mixer, go to the recipe at kennetemple.com. Add in your yeast mixture and then we're gonna mix this on low for five minutes, all right? Now, over the five minutes, you will notice that the ball of dough will become one, all right? It's gonna look scraggly at first and then right about that five minute mark, you're gonna notice a nice ball of dough has started to form. Once you notice that, you're gonna add in your butter one tablespoon at a time. And this butter is gonna make this sticky buns buttery. Did you see that coming? Did you see that coming? I know you saw that joke coming, right? All right, so then you're gonna go ahead on and mix that up together for about five minutes, all right? This is actually gonna just help make this dough what it needs to be, all right? So after you finish fighting with the butter, make sure you push it down so all the butter is incorporated and not left behind. And after five minutes, you will notice the dough will be nice and sticky, all right? So just slide that off the hook and then sit that to the side, all right? Now, on a floured surface, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that dough out and then we're gonna get ready to knead this dough, all right? So get ready to get your arms and your forearms looking like Popeye, all right? So do not be uh, light with the flour because the dough is still so sticky. You wanna make sure that you get enough flour so your hands don't stick as you need it. And you're gonna knead this dough together for about 40 times, all right? We're gonna go in double time so y'all can see just how fast this is. Make sure you got some nice music on, make sure the kids ain't getting on your nerves and have you some fun, all right? So after you finish kneading the dough about 40 times, you're gonna notice it turns into this nice smooth ball of dough. In a bowl, you wanna go ahead on and add some oil. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the top side of the dough and put it down into the oil. And the reason why we do that is because we don't want the top of our dough to begin to crack as it expands, all right? So go ahead on, cover the dough with a towel, and then pop that into a warm spot. Go to the recipe so I can show you my secret on how I do this in the oven, okay? The next step, after we get the cleanup going, we're gonna make our pineapple sticky sauce, okay? So we're gonna melt some butter in a skillet, and then we're gonna add some brown sugar, and then we're gonna add some heavy cream. Mm, mm, mm. Can you taste it? And then we're gonna add a little bit of dark corn syrup. All right, get it all out there. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of salt. Yes, I put salt with my sweets because the salt brings out the sweetness in all these flavors, all right? Trust me, if you make this without the salt, you'll notice the difference. And then we're gonna go ahead on and put a shot of rum in there. Yeah, man, give me a little bit of that rum, man. You know what I'm saying? So have fun with that, bring that up to a ball. Now, as this was starting to cook and come to a ball, I realized that I was about to have me a major cleanup problem. I was gonna have to do this all a little bit again. So I transferred this over into a, into a different skillet just so it didn't overflow. And y'all can laugh at me talking about chef making a mess. We ain't got time for that. So sit that to the side after it finished boiling and reducing down, it takes about five minutes. Then you're gonna go ahead on and butter your cast iron skillet if you wanna be fancy like me or your casserole dish, just make sure you get it all in the crevices, all right? So now let's talk about picking up the perfect pineapple. When you pick a pineapple, the center stem should come out with ease. Now the one that was with ease, I plucked that out at the grocery store, but that's how you determine a good pineapple. Not the color, not the smell, but by how easy the leaves come off will let you know how ripe the pineapple is. After you finish skinning the pineapple on the outside, then you wanna just cut around the core 
and get you some nice pieces of pineapple, then slice that in half and cut you up some nice chunks. You don't wanna use canned, you wanna use fresh pineapples to deliver the ultimate flavor profile of all of these ingredients. Now we're gonna pour our sticky sauce into our pan. And then from that, we're gonna add our pineapples. Go ahead on and just sprinkle it all over nice and evenly. And now we have this Amarina cherries. These cherries are so fire. They're soaked in this beautiful syrup. They have amazing flavor. Trust me, get these and you'll love it. You'll taste the depth of flavor that it will add to your final dish. Now, while that's sitting to the side, we're gonna go ahead on and make our filling. We're gonna add some cinnamon and some salt to our brown sugar and go ahead on and just stir to make sure that's nice and combined. Now, after all of this, an hour should have passed. Our dough should have doubled. We should be proud. Look at that. Look at how nice that dough looks. Punch it down just to make sure you release the air. And then on a floured surface, we're gonna roll out our dough. I like to kind of just give it a little bit of help because we're gonna go to roll this dough into a rectangular shape. So I like to form it into a square and then get my roll on. Somebody please cue the big timers. Uh, everybody get your roll on. And we're gonna roll this on to about 12 to 18 inches. No, I did not measure it with no stick, uh, no stick, with no measuring stick. I just rolled it out to the thinnest that I can possibly. And then you wanna go ahead on and form it into a rectangular shape and then liberally season it with your filling, okay? And then roll it on back. You can roll it forward or you can roll it back. Whatever feels more comfortable to you. Then after you get your roll on and roll a nice tight dough, then what you wanna do is you wanna cut the dough in half. Hiya! Okay, then after that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut this dough that's cut in half into six smaller, nice little pieces, okay? You wanna make sure everybody has a big piece of sticky buns, all right? Don't be that person who's holding out on a big sticky bun, all right? Then take those pieces of cut up dough and then add them to your pan, all right? Set them right on top. Make sure that everything is nice and spaced out because what we're gonna do is now, we're gonna cover these again and then we're gonna pop this into that warm spot one more time, let the dough rise, and then we'll be ready to bake our pineapple upside down sticky buns, all right? So we're gonna pop that into, the, into a warm place. And then one hour later, look at how nice they look. You see how they expanded? This is why you don't wanna put them on top of each other, all right? You wanna make sure they got a little bit of room to grow, all right? Don't stunt your growth. Then we're gonna pop that into a 375 degree oven for 50 minutes, all right? You wanna go ahead on and put over a little bit of fall. If you notice it's starting to brown just a little bit faster than you expect, that's what I did. And look at that, look at how beautiful those is. Nice and brown, all right? Now for the big trick, all right? You only successfully have done these sticky buns or pineapple upside down cake if you can flip it out and everything releases from the pan, all right? So drum roll, please. One, two, three, flip. Don't be scared, can it flip it? Flip it, let's see, here we go, moment of truth. Did we successfully make these pineapple upside down sticky buns? All right, be careful, because the casserole dish is still gonna be hot, the pan is still gonna be hot, so don't burn yourself when you release. Oh, my goodness, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh yeah, baby, we did that, we pulled that off. And before you dig on in it, let it cool for 15 minutes just so the heat can release and everybody can enjoy a nice warm pineapple upside down sticky bun. But that's the recipe there. You can find the link down below or go to kennettemple.com. I'll see y'all next time, baby. Mm -hmm.